Hey guys, Coral Blonde Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Calvin. Aaron. And we are back with It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Last time, uh, the waitress was getting married, and then Charlie sicked hornets on the groom. Yeah, but yeah. he broke up with her. Because he is trying to get back at all the people who made fun of him for, like, acting acne. or something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's Which, no one good in Philadelphia. I don't understand why D was, like... Just so terrible. Like she was called like the steel monster or whatever. The yeah. aluminum monster. The aluminum monster. Yeah, and then yeah. it's like, oh, Pizza Face. Yeah. It's like, you don't want to be the aluminum monster anymore, right? Why are you calling this man Pizza Face? Yeah. It's because it's something well, that's that she part can of the lord human over him. Uh, people don't want to be called out for their inadequacy. Ina- Inadequacies. Is that my inadequacy? <sighs> God, Eric, can you... Don't call me out for it! Who are these people? Oh, uh, these people are here to corroborate my story. It's a parking violation. Oh, well, I think you'll find it goes much, much deeper than that. Yes, Lady Madam of the Court, I do believe that this court will realize that we were all victims of a terrible ordeal that caused each and every one of us great physical and emotional trauma. And what is this ordeal? The Philadelphia Phillies winning the World Series, Your Honor. The World Series defense. I mean, when people win those uh, championships, sometimes those people go a little crazy. It's like when they lose, they go crazy. When's the last time the Phillies actually won the World Series? I will not pretend to know anything about. Who, who of us would you expect to have known that? I can tell you when episode you two like Attack sports. of the Clones came out. <laughs> and Eric knows this show. I was hoping one of you might know. Today's the World Series. I totally forgot. Oh, wait a second. What's this? Go Phils. Go Phils. This is one of the few times where it's acceptable to be shirtless in a public forum. So I'm blasting bare chest the whole time. What do you think? Yeah, I think you're going to be cold as shit. I'm not going to be cold at all. Because I'm going to be wasted on green alcohol. Green alcohol, baby. Whenever there's a potential riot, I'm getting blasted on green alcohol. Right, you wrong punch. Put some of that on my bug bites. We're not going to be wasting our fine green alcohol on your goddamn bug bites, idiots. Yeah. Yeah, we need it for pre-gaming. I'm not watching this game sober. No, what, do you want to remember it? <laughs> Charlie, back to back. <laughs> back to back? Okay. What? Is it like they're sleeping with on, fleas or something? Oh, we got bed bugs, dude. Oh, man. Oh, oh no. With them. Some guy brought him back home. Hey. World Series, bitches! What is up? Who yeah. did this? Who did this? Plan's still on, right? Oh, shit, Damn. yeah, baby girl. Plan is on. Hey, time out. There's a plan? Oh, there's always a plan, buddy. Hey, why don't you tell me about this? What's the plan? A lot of okay, in the bottom of the ninth, when the Phillies are up by like 50 or 60 runs, Dennis and I are going to start beating the shit out of each other. We'll attract the attention of security. Yeah, and that's when I run on the field and kiss a player. Oh, oh who that is? Who that is? And I'm going to toss on Green Man. And I'm going to run around the field and go crazy as Green Man. Uh, no, 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 there it goes. Don't, don't toss on Green Man because in this particular case, the Philly frenetic really reigns supreme, okay? We're talking about the Phillies here. Leave that for other shit. Are you kidding me? Dude, He's going to be Green Man. I love him. I love him. I'm sick of him. He's got a stranglehold on the Philly mascot scene. It's not fair. I got a pretty good thing going with Green Man. I don't see why there can only be one mascot. No, I feel like there's only room for one green idiot running around making an asshole of himself. What? Oh, I can't find the tickets. What are you talking about? I don't have the tickets in my pocket. What? Dude? Oh, where? I know exactly where I left them. I left them on the coffee table in the apartment. Well, dude, we don't have time to go back to the apartment. We're not going to get a good spot for the tailgate. We got to go back and get them. All right, all right, all right, right. Wait, wait, wait. Dennis, Charlie, why don't you go to the parking lot, get us a good spot, we'll go get the tickets. All right, let's move, man. Let's go. Let's go. go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I don't know. I, all I'm doing is, like, just making the sandwiches. By the way. Shut up! Jeez. They're so mean to each other. Oh, balls! Oh, no! It's being fumigated for bed bugs. How did you not know that they were bug bombing your apartment, bro? I can't read every flyer to get slipped under the door. Well, now what are we going to do? Well, I don't know. we got to go. We gotta go get the tickets. Hurry up. Hurry I'm up. Not going in there. That's a little toxic smoke. I'm on. We'll go buy gas masks. We don't have time for gas masks. Well, hey, come on. It's not that poison. Just, just go, go really fast. Shit. Go really fast. All right. Oh, go really fast? Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, God. My eyes are burning. Now what? All right. Fine. I'll have to scale the building, cut a hole in the tent, smash through the window. That'll cut down on occupancy time. You are not capable of doing that. I absolutely have the upper body strength to accomplish that. Are you kidding God me? God damn it, dude. God damn it. Calling the boys to tell them we're going to be late. They're doing it right now? 
All right, keep me posted. Shit. It's green men oh, wrapped around. They're bombing your building right now. They got the whole oh, thing tented. Oh God. Those guys can't get in there to get the tickets. No, there's no way they're gonna. I mean, that's poisonous gas, dude. You can't breathe that. Screw them, right? What are you suggesting? Maybe we sneak into the game? I want to get into that game. I don't even want to tailgate. Oh, oh, you're right. right. We got to sneak in. All right, we're going to sneak. Well, then how are we going to sneak in, though, bro? Can they park in a handicapped spot? Crazy. I think they were next There's to one. There's a couple ways you can do it. One, we can take the secret tunnel that goes from the alley in into the stadium. Stop. 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 There's no secret tunnel going from the stadium to the Audi Inn. What the this hell is common talking? knowledge, bro? There is. Oh, my gosh. Their, their Philly accent players. is so strong. Audi Inn. <laughs> you jump in front of a car coming into the stadium. Two... You say I'm gonna sue you if you don't give me tickets. Hmm. No. Charlie went too. No, that is a terrible plan. How is that terrible? Because it involves me getting hit by a car. You'll be fine, bro. You're drinking riot punch, man. Hmm. You bounce right off that. Riot thing, punch. Right? Well, <laughs> you do it. Grain alcohol oh, and no, Kool-Aid, probably. Man, I mean, or Gatorade. Yes, the last, bro. I don't want to get hit by a moving car. You'll be fine. This is the World Series, man. I don't want to do it anymore, dude. I could die. You do it. <laughs> All right, goddamn it, I'm gonna do it. Let's do it. One last time. How do you know they have tickets though? Too shitty, right? Yeah, car. Yeah, no, you don't want to jump out in front of a shitty car. We need rich people tickets. Right? Uh, rich seats, man. Oh, this guy, right here, right here, right here. This is good. This is gonna be a good one, dude. Good. Right, oh, he's gonna have some good seats. Go, go, go. go. <sighs> okay, man. It's going too oh, fast. Dude, it's great seats. Yeah, I feel like I didn't have a good angle. What do you mean? Oh, you can just way. jump right outside. Right, this guy has good seats. This guy has good seats. Don't get cold feet on me. Jump out. This guy oh, get this guy on the hood. Oh my gosh. He pushed him out in front of him. Ladies and gentlemen of the court, these were dire times and dire actions were needed to get those tickets. Yeah, but we didn't get the tickets, Charlie. I forgot that, that they were telling all this to a judge. Scam your way into the game by throwing each other in front of cars with the hopes of extorting tickets from the drivers. Your Honor, let the record show that the three of us do not condone the actions of the two of them. The record will show everything. You can stop saying that. Mm -hmm. well, sure, she's not typing very quickly. Short age, she's getting the gist. I don't appreciate being paraphrased. Now, I choose my words very deliberately. Get back to your case. Okay, so anyway, the three of us are back at their apartment trying to get the tickets. And Mac is scaling the building. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just, I get a good grip, is you know? it the grip? Is the yeah. grip the problem? Hey, guys, look, I found this garden hose. Right? Oh, my I'm going to use it to pump fresh air into the building and breathe into it like a scuba diver. That actually seems like it could work. Okay, yeah, that that. Yeah. is not how that works. They do it. They did it for a long time, Gowan. No, the capacity of your lungs is lower than the than the capacity Gowan, of the hose. Gowan, You're just going to be... It's a great idea. He's gonna asphyxiate. All right, dude. Let's get back to this player selection conversation, okay? Because I got some, got some thoughts. Yeah, I've been thinking about it. Yeah. Ryan so make sure there's no kinks in the hose or anything. Mm. How far in you gotta go? If it's me, I'm going Chase Utley, 100 percent of the time. You say Ryan Howard. Howard. Like basement, do you know how rare that is yeah. nationally? Well, yeah, What'd she say? Hot, which is like number one on my list. But I really like Ryan Howard. Now you are kissing Chase Utley, and that's it. Why are you pushing Chase Utley on me? It's starting to get weird. Okay, look, I have a plan. All right. And it involves you getting this letter to him when you got out there to kiss him. No, I have given this to Major League Baseball, his lawyer, his manager, his mom, and he has not gotten back to me, which means he hasn't gotten it yet. So just... Which means he hasn't gotten it yet. What is in this letter? That's none of your business, all right? Just get it to Chase. Did you write a love letter to Chase Utley? Is that... In a lot of ways, yes, I do love him, but that is not a love letter in the way that you're thinking of it, okay? There's nothing sexual... No, Frank didn't die. Okay. That sounds good. Power Wait, around. I'm gonna read it. Yeah, read it. Dear Chase. Oh shit, there's stickers. Yeah. My God. Oh, well, you gotta jazz it up. Yeah, you, know? you sure do. I wanna make it you pop. You sure do. Dear Chase, I feel like I can call you Chase because you and me are so much alike. Really, I would love to meet you someday. It would be great to have a catch. I know I can't throw as fast as you, but I think you would be impressed with my speed. I love your hair. You run fast. Did you have a good relationship with your father? Me neither. When did he write this? These are all things we can talk about I'm, and more. I'm guessing, I know you have like, not been getting my letters because I know you would week. write back if you did. And I hope you write back this time <laughs> and we get to be good friends. Still has the letter. I'm sure our relationship would be a real home run. <laughs> <laughs> Even the bailiff! <laughs> the hose is gone. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, he's in there breathing the poison. 
gotta get those tickets. I gotta get the chase. God damn it. Okay, hold on. They're both going in? Why would they both go in? Oh, really bad. There he is! Bug bomb bastards. Oh, God. Oh. Look like his tongue is swelling up. Oh, I hate his teeth. Oh, my gosh, Eric, you threw up yesterday. Uh, in my mouth. Uh. Uh, if anybody at had, like, a sympathetic gag reflex, it's going. Oh. It's going right That's now. That's so funny. Why is it so funny to see Dan DeVito just laying down? <laughs> <laughs> laying down with a hose going yeah. through him. How you feeling, buddy? Oh, I'm in a great deal of pain, Charlie. It's just a blast. <laughs> oh, oh, my terrible. God. Yeah, you got cream, it's real you bad, know. that road rash. I got you a soft pretzel, dog. Wow. Wow. You a soft pretzel, you son of a bitch. I might be bleeding internally. Dude. I see Philly Fnatic up there, man. Maybe I'll talk some shop with him, a little green man. He can get us in the game, dude. It's a man. The riot juice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, <laughs> of ten, course. Ten, 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 ten. All right. But you get my point, Your Honor. And you can see that Mac was slowing down at the end there. And let the record show that that is because he only it's works out his glamour muscles. No, that's, that's bullshit. I did like three more than you. Yeah, but Put you're that on the record. I wasn't was slowing down. Uh, strike that from the record. I don't, I don't think you did three more. Oh, no. You saw it. She saw okay. it. I need oh, so stand. this story to come to an end. Okay. I'm <laughs> soon. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> she is giving him so much time. I got hammered so hard. <laughs> you deserve it, asshole. Charlie, who hammered you? Just some overly passionate Phillies fans. Who do you think? And hold on. You getting hammered by Philly fans is reminding me of something. There is a secret tunnel between the stadium and the Audi Inn. I know, dude. I was telling this guy about uh, the tunnel. That's man. not true. They built it because yeah. Phillies fans hammer no. people See? all the time. That's yeah, a you gotta tunnel. get the players out. Nobody knows around. about the tunnel. All right, well, let's yeah. get the tunnel. Let's 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 get the tunnel.
Oh my gosh! Oh, Philly. Alright, which way is it, dude? Which way? Uh, let's try this way. The game is about to start, and this damn thing is not giving me a signal. You're in a tunnel. this plan, man. I don't know, I might just go up to the hotel bar and watch it up there and then join the riot afterwards. Yeah, maybe you're right, dude. If we can't go to the game, we should just be able to watch it somewhere. We're getting in the game, all right? Let's just hurry up. All right, hang on a second. This looks good down here. Bingo. Look at this little room. This has got me something, right? Oh, no. They're going to get locked in here, aren't they? It's a linen closet, Charlie. Yeah, they want you to think it's a linen closet, Frank. All right, check behind the shelves and shit. Why? Because the Scooby-Doo secret tunnels are always behind oh, shelves. Scooby-Doo. Scooby Can we not base our decisions on what does and doesn't happen in episodes of Scooby-Doo? God damn it, let's get up to the bar before the game ends. Yeah, let's go. Come on. Oh, shit, it's locked. What? Oh, it's locked. It's locked. No. What? Hey, no. Hey, no. Hey, no. Hey, no. Guys! Check this out. Oh, no. Is it the air vent system? No. Is that what that is? <laughs> That's a really? secret yeah, tunnel, Larry. Hang on, it's dark in here, but it sounds like it's a tunnel. It's dark as hell in here. I can't see anything. It sounds like a cave, hang on, doesn't it? Hang on, it's like tripping. I was not expecting that. You all found a dungeon at the bottom of the Holiday Inn? No, no, no. Uh, I just added that last part at the end there to spice the story up because if I'm being honest, it kind of seemed like we were losing your first Yeah, you weren't paying attention, but... But now you are. But, but the point is, we did now you are. get stuck in that linen closet yeah. for six days. Yes, we did. Six you know days? We missed the game. So yeah, we missed the game, we missed the riot, we missed the parade, we missed everything. Yeah, and the only way we got out is some maid came after six days to get fresh towels. Yeah, how does the hotel not run out of towels for six days? I mean, Let the record show that we question that hotel sanitation procedures. Absolutely. Absolutely. Place. And while we were stuck in that tiny little room for six days, surviving only on sink water and peppermint candies and what little bit a riot punch we had left at that point. My car accumulated the massive amount of parking tickets that brings us before you today. So I submit to you, Your Honor, that not only should I be excused of those parking tickets, but I think I'm we're really on compensation for the entire world. Yeah, because we went through some shit. Is that it? Um, is that about yeah. Bases, yeah? Uh, you get the because I do not find that your story excuses your behavior. In fact, it actually seems like you committed a litany of additional crimes in the process. I order you to pay the original fine. Next case. Well, I didn't want to do this. I'm calling kangaroo court on a this kangaroo court. Kangaroo court. It's a kangaroo court. I'm calling kangaroo Call court. And, and you know what? I'm going to toss in my counter suit. Uh, Charlie Kelly Frank versus Smart. Major League Baseball. I'm silly frenetic. Uh, I'm mad at this guy. He's got a stranglehold on the mascot What's happening? Suit. All right. First of all, I had to call him the frenetic. His name's the fanatic. But, you know, I'm going to get sued by Major League Baseball if I call him the fanatic. And let's talk about steroids. Can we talk about steroids? Can we talk about steroid abuse? It's bullshit. It's ruining the game. It's ruining it. The only thing I remember from this episode is, yeah, that cut to, and they're inside a dungeon, and it's some dead people. That <laughs> was just surprising. I wasn't expecting them to just find I out was like, huh, is <laughs> this, <laughs> like, is this what the urban myth of, like, the tunnel to the thing is? Is, like, every every big game that they have, like, some fans try to sneak in, and they get trapped they in get this tortured. tunnel in the linen, co- linen closet? Yep. But then, like, there were some fans that were, like, hanging from chains and shit by their mm-hmm. neck on the wall. It was like, okay, so maybe, like, so, somebody, somebody in the hotel staff is, like, because ser- we've maybe. had serial killers on the show before. Mm-hmm. I suppose, we, yeah. I think we have one on the cast. Mm-hmm. That's possible. Which one? Maybe more than one. Uh, of the cast, who do you think is most likely to be? I want to say. Kill him. <laughs> he's a cast too. He didn't even just say the main. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a cast. <laughs> so the idea of that tunnel was that fans coming in for the games know that Philly fans are crazy. So that was for the away teams fans to be able to sneak in and not I think get so, beat yeah. up. But then alternatively, those fans. Get revenge and kill Philly fans and put them in the dungeon. Is that what was going on there? I assumed it was for uh, players, but I guess you're not staying at the Holiday Inn. I, I assume know, the tunnel is for is for players, and 
avid Phillies fans come to this hotel looking for, looking it, for it, and the ones that get trapped in the linen closet end up in that tunnel. I just made that up. So you seem like we were losing it. Yeah, but you're in now, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. As they kept going, I'm like, wait. Yeah, I forgot too, Calvin. That they were telling the judge this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like it got to the point where I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah. They would throw someone in the car, try to do this. I'm like, then we come in, like, oh my god, they're telling the judge they were gonna. <laughs> like, this is they a were gonna extort idea. a driver. Yeah. Not a good idea. I think if they just said we were stuck, we were trapped for six days in a linen closet, the judge might have been like, okay. Maybe. I don't know. Mm-hmm. It's possible. I love Frank, though. It's like, what kind of hotel doesn't need to come get more cl- yeah. cows and stuff for six days? Maybe it's like a spare linen closet. Maybe. Hmm. I don't know. Man. I know, like, some hotels, like, depending on how big they are and stuff like that, they have, like, a linen closet on every floor. Yeah. So that they don't have to use the elevator with, like, a bunch of, like carts of mm-hmm. linens and stuff like that. They have, like, a laundry room on that floor, and yeah. all those stay well, on that floor, and that's just and easier that way. Yeah, it's easier to, like, okay, let me take care of this floor, toss everything in here, clean it up, go to the next floor while that's washing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There. And you don't have to, like, get it all down in the basement, wash it all up. Makes sense. God, I love seeing Frank Reynolds just on the floor next to that. The hose? <laughs> <Yes. laughs> yes. Passed out. Like, just, yeah, oh, it's so, so funny. It's so funny. <laughs> well, and, like, while they were talking, I, I was like, like, you gotta watch the hose. Like, what if it gets kinked up and he doesn't get any oxygen? Like, if it was to work, let's just say that will work and he will be fine, yeah. right? Like, you gotta, you gotta make sure it's there, right? The, the big thing is you have to actually, like, force air continuously through from the outside to make sure that he has fresh air to breathe in. Because otherwise, he's just breathing his own breath back in and out right. constantly. If he's careful and can, like... Sure. You're always sucking in. Sure. Then you keep a flow going. But the hose was way too short. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It would get him... Well, I was thinking about it, too, when they the started. first I'm flight like, of stairs. How far does he have to go? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit, the hose is gone. <laughs> <laughs> they just... <laughs> They just weren't paying attention oh, at dude, all. Oh, dude, that dry heaving scene. Oh, my oh. gosh. The... <coughs> the judge's name, I think, was Fishburne. Mm-hmm. M. Fishburne? Yeah. It just made me think of Lawrence. Lawrence. Oh, okay. I didn't know if it was meant to be, like... I don't know if I mean Fishburne. So. You know what I mean? Like, it's... I don't... I don't think it's a very common name, but maybe yeah. it is. But I was like, maybe they just, like, ah, oh, we're gonna make it Fishburne is you know, after him or something. Do you think Frank ever had the tickets? I don't know. Those, I mean, apparently those bug bomb bastards took him. But or did he just want to go tailgate? I don't know. He made a lot of sandwiches. <clears throat> he did. Yeah. I mean, baseball games are ridiculously long. Yeah. Boring. Also, you will need more than one meal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Especially with that much riot juice. <laughs> I'm pretty convinced that they were actually filming when that stadium was filled up. At least it looked like it to me. It didn't look like a composite shot. The camera was moving too much for it to be, I felt like. Especially for a show this caliber. Yeah. I mean, it could have just it's been any game. It could have. No, yeah. It, it had to be World to be. Series. No, of course. Not. True. I don't know when this episode came out, but when I looked it up, it said that they won in 1980 and in, ni- in 2008. 2008. Yeah. I don't know if they went other times, but they just said they won mm-hmm. those times. Sure. Gotcha. Did they win at home? I don't know. I didn't go that far. I just Googled real quick and then watched. No, oh, yeah. So they could have. I love that. Oh, Bailiff laughing at Max Letter to Chase Hudley. It was really funny. It felt like he wrote it when he was like seven. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like even with the stickers and all that kind of aspect. That's why I was like, wait, when did he write this? Because like, I run fast too. I bet you run real fast. We could be brothers, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like it just felt I like. I would love to have a catch. Did you also have a bad dad? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Did, how was your relationship with your dad? Me my, neither. My dad too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it just felt like a little kid writing to someone they looked up to, as opposed to like him writing it today. Yeah. Or Charlie writing it, maybe. I would say he wrote it multiple times, right? Because he's tried to get that to him a bunch. Yeah, but it couldn't have been when he was younger, right? 
he probably wrote it recently. Maybe it's, I, maybe I think it's like, he wrote it this yeah. week. He had a lot of opinions on who D should kiss. Maybe it's like showcasing his like personal trauma that he deals with, and mm-hmm. like you know what I mean. Like sometimes we see things with like, oh, well, clearly Charlie has some issues and stuff with this or yeah. that, or self esteem issues between like Dennis or D or whatever. But like Mac, like. He feels that he's confident in who he is and what he can do, but he over embellishes it a lot. Yeah. And then, like, this letter really seems a little bit more, I feel kid like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, it may, it may have to do with, like, how his relationship with his dad was and what he's, he's, like, looking for something more somehow. I think he can definitely, he can be stunted in, in that regard, but it's still something from him recent, you know, rather than him as a kid mm-hmm. writing it, you know? Sure. But I get you. Man, the makeup on Dennis was great, it looked painful. It did. Oh, sure. Yeah, with the car accident. In the <laughs> He's yeah. Up, it, and the red eyes. Oh. It looked like road rash. Yeah. When I've had road rash. Oh. Oh, I hate. I've never, like, had, you know, a car accident like that, but I remember falling down on my bike uh, over, like, the little stones. Oh, yeah. And those these little stones get stuck in your skin. Yeah. Oh, it's sucks the, so bad. The screenings, right, yeah. that they use, like, Ooh. around playgrounds yeah. and stuff. Oh, Little man. tiny, like, sharp stones that just get, like, embedded in your knees. and Like the walking shins. past stones, yeah. You just, like, do this, and stones just coming out of your skin. Just yeah. Bleeding everywhere. Damn! How about you, Aaron? You ever had any road rash? You want no. some? No. No. I've been stopped the car. What? Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. We hope you enjoyed the reaction and the discussion. And if you did, come back next week for another episode. Mm-hmm. But at blindweb.com, you can get up to four available right now. Uh, and everything else we do with early, with early access, which is a lot of week. 